hi guys welcome back to my channel we're gonna jump right into this video with the unboxing of this wig from alliepearl.com i'm gonna show you guys some goodies that came in my package they got me wig cap they got me the satin wrap for my edges they got we got some lashes which are cute real long and we got an edge control actually you know what i might use I'm gonna use today. So I got that. You also got some directions on how to care for the hair. And last but not least, we have a satin bag. It's cute. Pink satin bag. And it has Alley Pearl on it. it. They sent me over a deep wave 13 by 4, 26 inch. 250% density, meaning she thick thick, real thick, you know what I mean. For the parting space, it's you're not getting that full frontal, that full 13 by 4, it is a little bit small. It is 13 inches across and 4 inches back, but it's mainly in the middle. So I more than likely will be doing the middle part for this wig. But if I can move to the side, we can see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm ready. I'm ready to get into it. So I got the wig on sh straight from plucking and bleaching the knots and all that good. And the lace, it's not that bad. It's really thin. It is not too far from my color. I see it's a little like a little bit lighter, but we we're gonna tint the lace with a little makeup. Alrighty, now we're going to start out by tinting this lace. I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. I like to use the level 14. It is my exact color. I'm going to put this on the inside of the lace as well as on top. And this is just going to help it be as seamless as possible. Now that our lace is all tinted, I'm now going to start to melt this lace. I'm going to begin cutting my lace into three sections. This just makes it easier when it comes to applying the glue. Okay, now that we are all prepped to apply our adhesive, I'm going to be using the Weak Dealers Extreme Hold Waterproof Lace Glue today guys when i tell you this glue is the truth i use this for all of my installs this glue is waterproof humidity proof sweat proof all of the above i rate this glue 10 out of 10. and i also will be applying three layers of this adhesive and it gave me about a three week hold and i didn't get any lifting whatsoever and once it has uh, dried about almost clear, I'm going to go ahead and press my lace in. I get my comb and I really, really press it in, apply some pressure to really make sure that this lace is as melted as possible. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the extra lace on the side because we don't need all that. I'm going to cut that off Then I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side. Okay, now we're going to begin cutting off this extra lace. I'm going to be grabbing my shears and I'm going to be cutting in a very, very jagged line. Try not to cut in a perfect straight line. I repeat, do not cut in a straight line. The jagged line just helps it become more seamless. And just look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, lace is cut. Now I'm going to begin pulling out 
some hair around the perimeter of my hairline. I'm gonna start just framing out where I want my baby hairs to be placed. Okay, now that I'm pulling out hair in this sideburn area on the other side of my head, I noticed that it was super, super thick. Like, look at that, too thick. And if you run across this same exact problem, it's okay, don't freak out. Grab some tweezers and just pluck as much hair as you can just to make it as thin as the rest of your baby hairs. Okay, now that I've separated all the hair I'm going to be using for my baby hairs, I'm going to begin laying down these edges. And I'm going to be grabbing the Wheat Dealer's Sleek Finish Jumbo Wax Stick. I'm going to apply this to the perimeter of my hairline. And then I'm also going to be using their Hot Comb. And I'm just going to press down my hairline, make it as flat as possible. All right, now I'm gonna begin hot combing the baby hairs forward. Be very, very careful when you are doing this. This extra step just helps me personally when it comes to laying down my baby hairs. They're already straight, they're smooth. It just makes it really, really easy when it comes to applying my gel and swooping my baby hairs. Okay, now I'm going to be grabbing my shears again and I'm going to start cutting my baby hairs. I like to cut mine about an inch long. Okay, now I'm going to be grabbing the Got To Be Styling Gel in the black tube and I'm just going to begin swooping my baby hairs. Now with this part, I feel like there is no right or wrong way when it comes to laying your baby hairs. Just have fun, swoop them as you please because I feel like there's no right or wrong way when it comes to baby hairs. This just adds that little extra spice when it comes to your installs. Okay guys, now we are at the home stretch to this install. I'm going to be grabbing my silk edge wrap that came in my package and I'm just going to tie my hair down for about 10 to 15 minutes and remove and guys, we are good. Y'all just check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Ooh, look at that girl. I see you. All right, so wig is laid and I just want to show you guys the full texture of the hair just fluffed out kind of it's not fully fluffed out it's like defined back here i didn't want to really break up those curls but here's how it look like it's and it's super super full like this is true 250 percent density because she is heavy i be sleeping on deep wave hair i love this it's so pretty just making the hard choice the hardest choice for a girl when she installs her new lace 
Do I want to do a side part? Do I want to do a side part? For my final step, I'm going to begin defining these curls. And for this wig, I didn't use any product whatsoever. All I used was 100% water. And guys, when I tell you, this hair did not frizz up, it did not puff up. So this wig was like, this is a spray and go type of wig and you're good to go. And guys, I, I'm over here parting my hair. I did think I was going to do a middle part, but I didn't. I ended up switching it, but... It's, this just shows that the hair can be parted down the middle as well as to the side. Okay, what's up y'all? I'm back. And yes, I ended up swooping it over to the side part. And I am obsessed with this hair, y'all. It's so pretty. Ali Pearl. Ali Pearl did they thing with this because the density is on point. The curl pattern is on point. Oh my God. The lace is so melted. It's so pretty. Just wow. This is a gorgeous wig. And I am obsessed. <laughs> Alrighty guys, this is gonna wrap up this video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below and be sure to follow me on all of my socials to keep track with me. I will see you guys.